or reveal any matter to any person who shall be brought under my consideration. On August 16th, a committee led by a High Court judge was set up to investigate the cause of the fire that burned down the historic Kasubi tombs here in Kampala. Speaking after Eid prayers to mark the end of the month of Ramadan, Prince Kasim achieving expressed dissatisfactions at the slow pace of investigating the fire since it burned down the tombs in March. Nachibinge said the government should show the same zeal which was exhibited when investigating the July 11th bombings in Kampala. The vigor and the power they used to apprehend those who confessed to having been behind those atrocities, they should use the same force to apprehend those who touched the Kasubi tombs. Nachibinge was today hosting hundreds to lunch at his residence after prayers at Chibli Mosque. Among the prominent people at the luncheon was Kampala Mayor Nasa Sebagala, who announced his plans to defend his seat in 2011 elections. I want to tell you officially that I'm reclaiming my post. Vote me again and I finish what is pending. Praising large number of Muslims going to politics, Nachibinga, however, called on those vying for office to avoid clashing with fellow Muslims. What is this happening that you find so many people clamoring for just one position? Yet there are so many positions and there are so many seats. I wonder why I question the wisdom of all jostling in one position. I would like to ask them that they should make it a point not to get involved in politics of intrigue, politics of lies, politics of falsehood. Early hundreds of Muslims attended Eid prayers at Chibli Mosque, where believers were urged to continue living a positive life, even after the end of fasting. <laughs> Omuntu alimba, oyawa mazo kwe gulira poroti muliro. Julia Senkandwa, NTV Tonight.